It is, it is, uh, but it's here now. Oh, so. yeah. yeah, oh yeah, boy is it. <laughs> we have to kind of adjust, at least for the next, oh, say, maybe 24 hours or so. 50s today, 30s overnight tonight, and then we warm up to 68 tomorrow. So tomorrow, noticeably different, with the exception of sunshine. We're going to hold on to the sun not only today, but tomorrow and Saturday uh, before the clouds and rain come in Sunday. That's how we like to do a weekend. Yeah. All right, Eric, thank you. That's going to do us here at noon. We'll see you again at 4 p.m. Have a great day. Lee, right now. Well, happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. So glad to have everybody with us today. I know. Texo is just walking around here. It's your world, buddy. We're just living in it. I think he sniffs your new puppy. I know. I think there's a little Oscar scent on me right now. <laughs> so Friday Eve, uh, again, we are so glad to finally be back into our rhythm of having a live show here on Channel 2 because the impeachment proceedings uh, have taken up much of the last few weeks. But I promise we have a great show for you guys today. A lot of texts and some gift ideas for Valentine's Day. This is a really stressful time for a lot of people. It really is. And truly, the pressure is on. Valentine's Day, of course, is is just about a, over a week away. It's next Friday. A week from tomorrow, yeah. And um, if you don't have the perfect gift for your significant other, a friend, a galantine, a secret admirer, we've got it all tackled for you. Don't you think, though, that Valentine's Day is perhaps even more stressful than at the holidays? Because there's almost like this, um, I don't know, implication with a gift that oh, the gift is sort of indicative of, like, we're really in love. Or right, like if you're in, in that critical part in your relationship, Or right? what if you're not in a relationship at all and you just want to do something with your buddies or with your girlfriends? Right. It's a great time of year to do that as well. So I think the gifts we have today will showcase a little bit of everything. I think so. Should we head over? You want to head over do to the little now? spot? Yeah, we I might as well. I think we're ready. Yeah, okay. let's go do it. So we've done this obsessions uh, thing before where essentially we we show you guys, we kind of let you in on some of our favorite places to shop and items to use. And today, not only do we have some of our favorite things, but as always, we have some discount codes or just little tricks to, to finding things on sale. I know. And we've done all of the work for you already. So get your notepads out. You know me, I like to take a good note. Um, and let's start with something sweet for your sweetheart, right? Yeah. And by the way, we always say oh, we yes. are not paid or compensated not at all. by these companies. They don't pay to be here. This is really just stuff that we love. And I'm so excited to start over here with this first thing. We have some stray props here on the set. That's oh, my fault. Gracious. Oh, goodness. This first one, I have been a fan of Le Bon Garçon for a long, long time. And folks, you may recognize this brand because it was one of Oprah's favorite, favorite things. things. You get a caramel and you, you get, get a, a caramel. caramel. <laughs> so their whole process of creating these caramels, it, I guess they cook them in copper pots. Of course, they only use the best ingredients, okay. cream. Uh, yes, there are a few calories in these, but don't worry, folks, that's okay. That's okay. But here's the thing. I know the guy who started this company. Really? I've been friends with this guy, Justin Chow, for 20 years, and I'm so proud to have seen his business grow. He even does a Caramel of the Month Club. Ooh. Yeah, so check it out. Like, up here, we have some, I think we have some Earl Grey caramels and some blood orange in addition to their regular sea salt. But he influ infuses flavors into these caramels. You've got to try them to believe. Courtney, you can have some during commercial break. Yes. But also, he created a special discount code for our viewers, 15% off. Just use the code HoustonLife. Visit the website, Le Bon Garçon. And it's a great gift because, folks, you don't have to wrap it. Look and at this packaging. I was gonna, that's what I was going to say the packaging is so beautiful. What a great teacher's gift, too. Is that him? That's, That's Justin. Oh, my And, you know, goodness. he trained over in France. He went to this fancy culinary school. Their Instagram is absolutely beautiful. They do have a brick-and-mortar shop, but save it for vacation because it's in L.A. where yep. they have this caramel fountain, Courtney. Ooh, amazing. I want to okay. swim in that. Okay, so after you eat your caramel, you're going to need to, you know, have a little something to drink. I know you love a good BYOB, right? I mean, you, so Or you go up to the rooftop. I like to sit out at the pool. Yeah. So do me a favor. I want you to open up this. This is a tote bag, but this is from Aww. a company. You guys have heard me talk about them. Vin Glossé. But did I've you know they have before. totes? I have right? no idea. Okay. Open it up. Okay. So basically, what? 
you have a chilled bottle of bubbles or wine or something that you put in there. This keeps your bottle cold. So this. And this is your tote bag oh. that you can carry with you. <laughs> Maybe you, you Yeah. That has a little purse strap there. But these come in all colors. I, I wine and your bubbles chilled. Look at that. It yeah, so the top right comes in. right off. There you go. And also these tumblers that um, that are not stainless drink. steel. It's glass. So the inside of these are glass. You always drink. and all have raised, raved about them, including me. I love them. And Allison, um, promo code for you. You can go to vinglossay.com, use HL20 for 20% off your order valid now through uh, the ninth. No, I had yes. no idea this was a local company, and I've seen this in a few shops. I know. It's awesome. I love Allison. Very clever. And she's got an amazing story, so check out the website and use that promo code. And if you have weddings coming up, this is good, too. It's a great gift. All right, speaking of Texas, folks, how about a local company and Courtney... It. Kulina yogurt, folks. Now, I know maybe it's strange to get super excited about yogurt. You don't like wake up doing cheers about yogurt until now, folks. <laughs> I have never been so excited about yogurt before. I found it, I think they sell it at, I know they sell foods and sprouts right now. Right. That's where I found it. But this is a woman-owned company. She's based in Austin. Her name is Erin. And she started this line of yogurts after she was having some digestive issues. There she is on the screen right there. How beautiful, right? Well, today, this company is taken off like wildfire because, folks, it is 100% dairy-free, vegan, Paleo, and if you've tried any of these dairy-free yogurt alternatives, like the coconut mm -hmm. kinds that are really just like runny. runny, soupy chalk, it's disgusting. These are impossibly thick and delicious. And again, Courtney, I know about it because you were raving about it. I am so hooked on these, and they're so good. They're thick. Everybody thinks you're eating regular, just yogurt. Like the creamiest Greek yogurt. By the way, check it out, because they come in these cute little glass pots. You can either recycle them mm -hmm. or you could reuse them for things like Q-tips. I love that you brought that or in. Or a little succulent jar. I use mine for dressing, salad dressing oh, that I make at home. Yeah, you just yeah. screw the lid on and shake up the dressing. And folks, visit their website. Just look for KulinaYogurt.com because you can sign up for their newsletter to find out, you know, how to find right. good deals, coupons, and all of that. Highly recommend. It'll change your yogurt world. Your Delicious. yogurt life. I'm glad that you talked about <laughs> it. So for good. Sure. Okay, obsession number four, my favorite. You guys know how much I love Kendra Scott. Um, this is the newest collection. Uh, this is all about love knots. So how great is that for Valentine's Day? Oh. I remember the first love knot piece that I got um, as a child. This is a new take on it. Different earrings. There's a whole collection. Uh, earrings, necklaces, and also the spring line debuted as well. Um, but the other thing is, if you head over, look at the hearts. Isn't that cute too? Yeah. Um, if you head over to Kendra Scott in Rice Village tonight from 6 to 8, you can shop My Favorite Things and 20% of the proceeds tonight go to Girls on the Run, Inc., which is of Greater Houston, which is a really great running club um, here for young girls. And the first 50 guests who spend $75 will receive a swag bag. Yes, so oh, that's come say cool. hi, come get all the pictures, the new stuff, and 20% of your proceeds tonight go back 
right in our backyard. I love these new designs too because Kendra is known for sort of those colored stones yeah. and the surrounding border. So this is changing it up a bit. Absolutely. Very nice. I'll see you tonight at that event, by Absolutely. the way, Courtney. All right, so we couldn't do a Valentine's Day gift guide without talking about Man Ready Mercantile. I love this spot in the Heights. It's right there on 19th Street. Great little storefront. And I also love the story about it. Check out these. This is my own personal baseball cap from home. Orlando I've, has that one. He has this exact yeah. one. Mm -hmm. They're great. They're a great price point too. I mean, we have gifts on this table, folks like those little leather keychains. I think those are $7. Check out these round ice cubes, so a little round ice cube set. The wax dipped whiskey glasses. Those are so cool. And of course they have candles and coasters and these cool little flasks. Men love taking baths, some of them, right? So how about this tub elixir or this great body wash? I've used this many times in the past, by the way. Bought it from Man Ready. But one of the things I love about this store, again, there are gifts at any price point. So if you only have a few bucks to spend, that's great. Or maybe it's not a romantic gift and it's just like a gift for a friend. You can find something like these cool baseball caps. And remember, Travis started this company years ago. Yeah. I think it was 2012. He was literally making candles on his stovetop in his apartment all these years later. Check this out. That's a shot of the candle bar that they have right there at Man Ready. So if you want to get together, a group of guy friends, some girls, your family, and go and do like a candle making night. So fun. You can go and do that and man ready. Travis is so generous. He created a 25% off promo code just for us. It's love25. There it is right there on your screen. Capital love25 for 25% off your order through Valentine's Day. It's also good in stores as well. I love that. It's I'm definitely going to use that for something. I see some good gift items here. Okay, you guys know how much I work out, how much I love love athleisure wear, I crossfit, I spin, and then I'm just a mom, so I want to be comfortable. The place to do this, and you got to shop local, I've been a fan of Valerie's for a really long time. I'm talking about Mighty Aphrodite. She has everything for the gym mom, the dog mom, it doesn't matter. If you are, never work out a day in your life, she's got the athleisure stuff that you're looking for and things that no one else is wearing. You know, there's this cute little um, workout top, there's matching leggings on one of the mannequins here. There's all kinds, look at this. You know how I am obsessed about leopard, yeah, right? Everybody print. needs some leopard print leggings or a good Mati, what I like to call the evil eye here. Or if you need something for traveling or put your wet gym clothes in, this is it. This is so awesome. Oh, what is the material of these bags? That it feels just keep, cool. Or if you go to your kid's swim or something and you don't want all of those uh, wet, wet clothes, clothes mingling with your other stuff that's in your bag. So here's the mannequins that she brought in. But let me tell you, this is just an example of what she has in store. I love these crop leggings. It's a great little piece, even if you don't work out. But here's the thing. You spend a little bit more on your workout clothes because they don't hold the stink. They're going to last you a lot longer. And Valerie knows all about body size. If you're just, if you just do yoga or you do completely do a hardcore sweaty workout, she's going to put you in the right things. Or simply, you just want to be comfortable and put on a happy face. Yeah. She's got it all for you. By the way, shop local because she is at basically 610 and 59. You know what the construction zone is like every yeah. weekend there, oh, yeah. right? Keep her in business, head over and see because she is offering Houston Life is your 10% promo code, good in store and online. Unbelievable stuff. I have been a fan of hers for years. It's really cool stuff. Do you have to whisper the secret code? Like, I mean, you can. Just life. Yeah, just do it because it store. makes it more fun. The password is. <laughs> well, I'm going to put on some of that athleisure wear and go out and buy some yogurt yes, for myself. Yes, absolutely. Some vegan, dairy-free paleo yogurt. Well, a reminder, folks, if you want to get your hands on any of these items and for the promo codes, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, and we'll be sure it's all posted there. That's right. And by the way, guys, get your phones and tablets ready because after the break, we're playing a little fun game to see how well you know what you can and cannot donate to Goodwill. And we want you to play along with us, so go ahead and log on to clicktovote.com right now. The game is right after this. Well, welcome back. Donating is such a great way to give new life to old items you don't want or need anymore, like clothing, furniture, and accessories. But what actually is accepted and what's not accepted when you're donating? Here to help us navigate Goodwill's do's and don'ts of donating, Barbie Parker with Goodwill Houston. And today we are playing a game. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. I mean, I know it's 
February. We can I still say seen it. You guys for a while, so right. Glad to be back. And you we're know, glad to have you. Go absolutely. For it. This is always. We always talk about this. You know, you're not sure what what do we accept, and sometimes I default to just. Put it in Here the Here it is, and you know, maybe out of sight, out of mind. But yes. so you actually have protocol of what you can and cannot accept. We do, and we'll play a fun game. And we we are always um, grateful for everyone's donations. So thank you for donating all the time. Absolutely. Sure. And over the past few months, Barbie, when you've been here, we've really sort of underscored mm -hmm. that when you are donating to Goodwill, you are not just helping these items live on. You're really right. giving back to the community through all of the <laughs> great programs, the outreach programs that you have to get people yes. back on their feet. 100%. Way to go. I'm so glad that our um, sessions have been good and <laughs> you've learned so much. Yeah. Are you all ready to play? Uh, we are, and okay. you can play along with us at home, too, at clickdevote.com. Okay, ready? I hear y'all are competitive. Slightly. Uh, well, one it's... of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you guess which okay. one. Mm, I'll, I'll just go ahead and play. Okay. <laughs> okay, number one. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, there are, pro there are items that cannot be resold. A, true, B, false, or C, just in some states. I'm going to say A because, like, for instance, if there's a car seat or a children's item that's been recalled, then that's that would be a dangerous thing to donate and therefore should not be allowed by law. Yes. Did you see the cue card? I did not. Exactly what Our cards just... Way to go. I know, I know. Exactly. Way to go, right? Way to go, Derek. I think we did cover something on this in one of our segments, I think Courtney actually taught me this. Okay. So so what are the items that you can't donate? Like a car seat? Car seats, little baby beds. Strollers. Strollers. Mattresses, like the baby mattresses. Yes, exactly. Yeah. A lot of infant gear. Because there could be a recall at some point, even if there's not already. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Okay, number two. Goodwill accepts which of the following products? A, antiques and collectibles, B, computers, C, bicycles, or D, all of the above. Ooh, I feel like that's a tie go for it. D, all yes, of the above. Yes, do accept all of the above. Okay, three, true or false? Since air conditioners can be recycled for parts, Goodwill will accept them for donations. A, true, B, false, or C, just recyclable parts. I'm going to say it's false because there's got to be a better way to recycle your air conditioner. Like, to, yes. you don't want people to bring in. No, we definitely don't. We don't accept those. And it's hard to, you know, get rid of all the parts. And you, there's Freon and stuff in those. That right. Very dangerous. Do not accept Chemical them. disposal. Correct. But there are proper ways to recycle and dispose of an air conditioner, just not at Goodwill. Yes. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> okay, number four. The following items are not accept acceptable as donations at Goodwill. A, mattresses, B, household linens and um, like sheets and towels, or C, flat screen TVs. I'm going, oh, I'm sorry, I was just going to answer and you rang in first. I don't know, because if a mattress can't be donated, then how could bed sheets? Oh man, I'm just gonna say bed sheets. Yeah, cannot be donated. just for sanitary reasons. Okay, well, A, the answer is A, mattresses. We do not accept mattresses. But you do accept bed sheets. <laughs> mm -hmm, because, I mean, even if they're a little soiled, we can take them home and clean them. Or if they're very nasty, um, we also have a company that will sell them to and they will recycle them. So, uh oh. Okay, okay well, All that's right. good to do something. Something. But All mattresses right. cannot be. Mattresses 100% cannot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. You can donate a car to Goodwill. A, true, B, false, or C, just not in Houston. Well, this seems like a trick question. I'm gonna say it's true. I would say true. It is true. Okay, awesome. Yes. So we do accept car donations, and then from there on, we will um, take them to auction, so. Okay. Yep. That's so all of our questions. Yes. And oh by the way, gosh. talk about a great tax deduction if someone right. is donating a car. That's pretty huge. That could take off your, your bottom line. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know all the tax laws and everything when it comes to the cars. Check but with your we, accountant yeah, before yes, doing that. exactly. But we do not resell the cars. We take them to auction, so. And this is, you know, here's the thing. I think after the first of the year, so many people are in sort of that declutter mode. Let's yes. let's get out everything, clean exactly. the garage, that kind of thing. Do you guys ever have kind of a, a lull in donations? Like when, because um, I feel like it's it, every time of the year, right? It is, all the time. I mean, and people ask us all the time, who are you, you know, who do you really, um, you know, market to them or like everyone. Yeah. And, because... But yes, all donations. And especially at the end of the year and the beginning of the year, we really see an influx in donations, which is awesome.
And when it comes to items like undergarments, socks, those items you do accept as long as they are new in a package, yes, right? new and in the packaging, yes, for sure. We do accept the undergarments. Okay, yes. so don't throw all your old underwear into a box and think that Goodwill's gonna want it. Correct, we will not resell them. There is a need for that in the community it just is. for new items, yes, right? Yes, 100%. So those are appreciated. Yes. And what's great too is you can just do a donation center. They're all over the city. Sometimes you don't even need to get out of your car. They, they are. I'm opening my door and they are there with the cart. Yes, 100%. Fantastic. We have over 100 donation centers. Each one of our stores, we have an attached donation center and then we have um, separate donation centers as well. So they're all over the city of Houston. We try to make it convenient for everybody. If they're getting their Starbucks or dropping off their dry cleaning, we, you know, on their route to work, whatever, so. And reminder, it's something we can all feel good about. When you're donating, one of the best reasons to donate is that at Goodwill, you guys are helping people with typical barriers to employment, whether Correct. they've been incarcerated or whether mm -hmm. their body it has limited mobility. Right. You provide jobs to folks who have a hard mm -hmm. time finding jobs. And free job training, which is big. So if, you know, you're looking for a job and, you know, anyone from people that have been in oil and gas for years and the plummeted and, you know, they... Or like, I don't know, I'm 65 years old, I need to work for another five or 10 years. Come to us, we're happy to help you find a job and a new career. Right, great resources right, right in our yes. backyard for sure. That's fantastic. Yep. Barbie Parker, thank you so much. Thank you, and I feel like it was a tie. We'll just call it a tie. Yeah, we're gonna we're all yeah, friends we're here. Good. Right? Exactly. Okay. Way to good go, job, guys. Easy. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you so much. <laughs> and in the meantime, if you'd like to learn more information about Goodwill, you can call 713-692-6221, or you can visit their website, goodwillhouston.org. And after the break, we're celebrating with our cool schools winner, Royal ISD. They are in the house. All right. We'll be right back. Thousand. Last fall, we highlighted 12 Houston area public school districts for our Cool Schools contest sponsored by Go Public Gulf Coast. And joining us today are two principals from the winning district, Royal ISD. We have Tony Runnels and Aranda Green. Congrats and welcome. And by the way, Thank you, you guys ditch in school? Uh, don't tell yeah. us. We did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to write you a should note. should be in school. They should be in class. Right now. We'll get you an excuse note. No okay. problem. Okay. That, you know, that'll be excuse. Well, thanks so much for coming in, you guys. I mean, I know both of you, um, Aranda, your uh, early childhood and elementary school principal, and uh, Mr. Runnels, you are a high school principal, so not busy at all, <laughs> either one of you. But what's wow. some great things going on in, in your community and within the classroom? Really, it, it's really astounding. Well, I think the thing that keeps me in rural is just our focus on tradition and the culture there in the district particularly at the Early Childhood Center. I'm really proud to brag on our district because we offer a full day uh, four-year-old pre-K program. And we've been doing that for a while now, so we're not new to this. And it really is the formal introduction into school for your four-year-olds who are living within our district. Also huge in our community is a celebration of homecoming. Um, we are a small district, so what you don't normally see is that all throughout elementary, junior high, high school, we celebrate homecoming in the district. and. FFA is huge within our community and starting in elementary students start rearing animals and they participate in the annual parade so FFA is huge within our community. It's so great seeing all of these photos on the screen right now as you mentioned like tradition and community career technology education at early college I mean this seems like a critical link in schools now to ensure that we're not only as you mentioned helping our four-year-olds get on the right track but as they continue through high school they're prepared to get jobs in their adult lives. Well, I, I, I say that our school is the best kept secret in the state of Texas, the best little schoolhouse in Texas, because we offer a variety of career and technology pathways. The early college is a game changer. What happens, uh, students have the ability to receive an associate's degree prior to graduation. That's amazing. That That's really amazing. Is. And uh, with an associate's degree, that puts money in the, uh, the pockets of the students and their parents. It saves money. And then they can go out in a global market and compete uh, with jobs, with the certifications that they receive. And in addition to the four-year schools and universities if they choose to transfer. What I think is great too is not is also you're, you're focusing on the theater and the arts. You're not allowing that yeah. to disappear like a lot of other districts are. Well, what I found out that uh, you do what you do well, and I found that we had a phenomenal theater arts program, a band, a war-winning band program. Those type of extracurricular activities keep students involved. They keep them engaged. So if I can get them on campus and keep them there and get them engaged in that 
activities, then that will translate into the academia. So I'm really excited about that, and uh, we won awards with that, and uh, we've grown the finance. Uh, fine arts program. Uh, we offer dance, we offer theater arts, um, we offer, uh, you know, a wide variety, jazz band, uh, those different things, orchestra. Those are things that you see being phased out of schools. Mm -hmm. And I found out that that helps my students become successful as we increase those type of activities. We couldn't agree more. We believe in the theater arts. I mean, even if you're not going into mm -hmm. a career in the arts, the discipline that goes along with it is critical. Uh, what role do the parents play? because clearly that's also a link in your community. You need community involvement really to have a very successful school community. Well, uh, community involvement is the quintessential element that makes a successful school and thriving community. Uh, when we get parent involvement, such as the Booster Club and uh, you know our uh, FFA, we have one of the largest uh, FFA livestock show and rodeos in the, in the, in the area or in the state. Uh, we have hundreds of people that come in. Uh, we have a parade. We, we just really celebrate those things. And those things, those are scholarship opportunities through the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. So it translates into them going on college and furthering their education. So. And Principal Green, what I think is so great too is you're you're creating and starting and building those foundations as young as four years old, but allowing your kids to really be prepared for that middle and high school. So when they do get to high school, they are prepared. I mean, that's an unbelievable foundation. You're making learning fun. Absolutely. That's the beauty of being a student in Royal ISD and having such a connected community. When students start in pre-K, we know them from pre-K on through yeah. elementary mm -hmm. to middle school, if you're at the STEM, if you're at the high school, and we really follow our students beyond grade 12. Awesome. So once you enter our school district, you are known as a student and your family is also known and invited to participate. Yeah, in not a number, you're a name. Yeah, you're Absolutely. Name. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on being our cool school's winner and uh, we hope to see you back here very soon. If not, in the meantime, we're going to see you out in the community doing great things. Thank you, thank for, you having for having us. us. Well, thank you, for Falcons. Yeah. thank you for <laughs> ditching school to come here today. All right, and in the meantime, if, if you'd like to learn more about Royal ISD, you can go online to their website, royal-isd.net. And by the way, a big thanks to Go Public Gulf Coast for making our Cool Schools contest possible. For more information on all of Houston's cool schools, visit gopublicgulfcoast.com. And we'll be right back. on NBC. February is American Heart Month, and Houston is kind of the epicenter of all things medical, especially when it comes to cardiovascular care. And I'm very excited to be here today with one of the specialists in the field, Dr. Pranav Loyalka. He is here to give us some advice about HCA Houston Healthcare and how we can actually be educated and know the facts when it comes to heart care. Pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. So let's just start by saying HCA Houston Healthcare is the leading provider of healthcare in the Houston area. Area. and there's physicians and nurses and allied health professionals they treat almost a million patients a year it's a lot of people and uh, you know that's through a lot of locations throughout the city we have 13 locations in addition to our emergency rooms our emergency um, urgent care centers uh, a lot of places well let's discuss people's journey uh, to getting better health care and the symptoms they need to look for any type of awareness that we should be starting with what's the very first part that you suggest just the awareness I think the awareness is anytime you certainly have chest pain or you have shortness of breath certainly you should be thinking about the heart um, thinking hey you know is this something you know I need to go to my physician about uh, and if you think about it, you should do it. If you experience any pain, never wait. There's never a second guess. Always go in for help. Correct. But again, you know, I think you also have to be smart about it. You know, there are a lot of people who will think, oh my gosh, this twinge is a little bit. Certainly, I would say if you have pain, especially if you're moving around and you get pain while you're active, even if you're still and you're short of breath, you get sweating, there are a lot of symptoms that come up. Um, you should seek help. Is there a specific age that you should be more aware of? You know, it's interesting. I think five, ten years ago we would have said, hey, if you're 60, 70 years old, certainly do that. Um, but I, you know, see patients now in their 20s mm -hmm. and 30s who have coronary artery disease and get in trouble. I would say, hey, if you've got diabetes, if you've got high blood pressure, if you've got high cholesterol, a family history, if you're a smoker, 
those are red flags for really having coronary disease in addition to your age and really should seek help at that time. So if cardiovascular problems run in your family, that's definitely somewhere you should start. Absolutely. Now, I also, you mentioned the symptoms. That's chest pain, the tingling. Is that also a symptom that people should be aware of? It can be. You know, realize in men, that's maybe the typical symptom is that you'll get that elephant on your chest, you'll get short of breath, you'll get maybe left arm pain. Women can have a lot of atypical features. So for women, I wouldn't wait for a, a classic uh, set of symptoms. As I said, if you know that you've got risk factors and you're getting short of breath or you're having any sort of chest discomfort, you should get it checked out. Now, let's talk about diet because what you eat, what you consume plays a big role in how your heart reacts to that. What is a good place to kind of start with your diet? What kind of changes should we be making? You know, it's funny, there are a lot of fad diets out there. Yes, there are. And there are a lot of diets that you know, are fairly extreme. I think there's some principles that should guide you there. One is moderation. Um, real, realize that heart disease is really a modern disease. It's a disease of oils. It's mm -hmm. a disease of having plenty of food, of less exercise. And so if you're looking at a diet, it should be one that it fulfills your caloric needs, so 2,000 calories a day for most people, and is well balanced as far as carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. You briefly mentioned smokers. Obviously, it's not a good thing to start. It's not a good habit. Uh, for people who are already smokers and who are a little bit concerned about their heart health, it's still okay for them to change their habits, correct, if they quit smoking? Absolutely. So you stop smoking, your risk starts going down. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of patients who maybe have had a heart attack, mm -hmm. and, you know, this is more, hey, let me tell you about a case. They stop smoking, the disease stops where it is. As long as they're on good medications for their cholesterol, we control their other risk factors, they eat healthy. And in some cases, if you get the cholesterol low enough, you can see reversal of some disease. That's wonderful tips right there. So tell us a little bit about the HCA Houston Healthcare services that you guys offer here. So in HCA Houston Healthcare, uh, we offer the full line of services. Um, we offer you know, bypass surgery, we offer um, straightforward you know, stenting, we're doing a lot of high risk cases now. Typically uh, what the medical center has done, we are offering almost all of those services. This year we will probably start with mechanical hearts, um, wow. doing left ventricular assist devices. Hopefully by the end of the year we'll be uh, doing cardiac transplant. So HCA Houston Healthcare really will be offering everything that has traditionally been offered in Houston. Plus all of the advances in the technology. Correct. That's wonderful. Dr. Loyalka, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it, sharing your knowledge with us today. For more information, just log on to hcahoustonhealthcare.com slash care. Lee right now. When it comes to finding the right electricity plan for your lifestyle, one local company is making it easier than ever to power up and save. Yeah, listen to this. Reliance Head of Innovation and Customer Experience, Scott Burns, is here with all the details on their truly free nights and weekends and seven-day plans. Scott, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me. Great to see you. This this is blowing my mind because I know you were talking about the, the Google Nest Hub, Love right? It. You have one. Yeah. I don't, so I'm just going to listen because I'm thinking to myself, Yes, I want free nights. Yes, I want all of this. And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is this is a great addition to our plan. So this year, we're really dedicating ourselves to personalizing power for our customers. And so part of that is our new program that's called Pick Your Free, where customers can choose, like you said, free nights, free weekends, or truly free seven days. And, and, tr and we work with customers to make sure that they get on the right plan that fits their lifestyle. So what would you need then from us? A current bill, or how would you figure out, how would we manage what plan is best for us? So you can either go online, and we've got a great little wizard there, or you can talk to one of our agents, and, and we ask you a couple questions about your lifestyle so for instance you know do you spend more time at home you know at nights or do you, do you like to entertain on the weekends those sorts of questions so that we can tailor the plan for you it's so great that living in Houston we have choice when it comes to picking our energy plans I love that for some people it can be a little bit overwhelming we're gonna walk through some of these different plans so people can figure out based on their lifestyle which plan might be right and we should
should point out too that at Reliant, you guys are the only service provider that actually has these three different like free time of use plans right here in Texas. We are, and, and that, those free periods of time are really important to consumers. They, they don't like to have to worry about electricity and the costs associated with that. So if we're able to provide them times where they can be really worry-free, again, a weekend, a night, or one of these high seven-day periods of time, they don't have to worry about it. It makes it, it, makes it really easy for them. And, and like you said, we're unique in Texas in that we have choice. And I know you've, you've lived places where you haven't had choice before, and it makes a huge difference. When, in California, it was like you called the power company, and you either had like the public utility, the private, and that was it. That I mean, you had to choose that one, right? But here, so much choice, and you get free gifts. Let's start with weekends, Courtney. Yeah, this is always interesting when you hear free weekends. How does it work? So, so with our Truly Free Weekends plan, um, you get free power from 8 p.m. on Friday until midnight on Sunday. And so for those consumers that, again, maybe you know, busy during the week and, 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 it, and not have an opportunity to use free power, they can actually get that free power on weekends. So if they binge watch or do chores or entertain yeah. on the weekends, they can do all those activities without the worry of electricity charges. Yeah, totally. And imagine, like, let's say someone travels a lot for work and they're gone most of the time most during the week. the week, so they're not using much energy all their energy or most of it's used on the weekend, this plan would be perfect for them. It would be, it would be perfect for them. And so, and also for those customers that, that maybe can, can put off some of, and shift some of their usage from the week to the weekend. So, the, so maybe holding off on laundry, holding off on dishes and those activities that would use more energy, shifting those weekends will allow them to have an overall lower cost. Okay, then you have something, this plan called Reliant Truly Free Nights, and of course, the Google Nest Hub. Yes, so all the plans come with the Google Nest Hub, but the, the Truly Free Nights is great for those night owls. So people that like to watch TV at night, do chores at night, but especially for people that like to have it nice and cool in the Texas summer. Right. Um, we all know how, how important it is to be nice and cool to get that good sleep, and so for those consumers, this is a great plan for them. It's so great, because then you can crank up the AC, not worry about that, and also it seems that if someone is, let's say you have a traditional traditional nine to five or you know nine to six job the bulk of your electricity usage would be at night anyway right exactly this is this is great for those those people that have both people out of the home during the day and and again can come home at night and not have to worry about what they're doing at home and what it's costing them because those times again between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning are all free run the dishwasher do your laundry binge watch and Scott this must be a typo because the next one I see here is reliant truly free seven days plus the Google Nest Hub. What? So, so yeah, this is a great one for those that have kind of an irregular schedule. So people that may travel a lot, maybe have shift work. What we do is we actually look at the, after, after the month is over, find those seven highest days and then give those back to the consumers free. So okay. those seven days are free. That so, is amazing. And this is not a system where someone has to keep track of anything, right, Scott? I mean, essentially, the system does it for you automatically, your seven highest usage days. They're just removed from your bill. They disappear. Exactly. You don't have to remember anything. You don't have to actively manage. This takes care of it for you, to your point. No submitting for a rebate. Nothing, nothing to fill Sitting out. Sitting on hold. I know, I know. Okay, let's talk about the hub, Courtney, because... Yeah, I, I don't even know how it works. Dude, this thing is amazing. We're obsessed with ours. But, Scott, you're the expert, so we'll let you break it down for us. So we've had a long-time partnership with Google, and, and with our partnership, we have a, a, a great product that we offer to our consumers at no cost. So what they do is they get this Google Nest Hub for free uh, when they sign up with one of these three plans. And this, this hub helps you do manage your home, things like... Uh, you know, playing music, uh, watching, you can actually watch videos, we can watch you guys on, on this product. You can actually control lights, control locks, those sorts of things. But for us, we've actually built in a lot of functionality. So as a Reliant customer, you can actually see your bill. Oh, that's cool. Pay yeah. your bill, uh, see how much you, you compare to your neighbors. Um, those sorts of things. So we really try to make managing energy really, really easy. See when your free weekends begin. So those sorts of, uh, that sort of functionality is built in along with all those other things that Google has built into this device. My mind is blown. See, and I have to say it too, because we've been using our Google Nest Hub for about a year now. My mom has one too, and Courtney, you know that my mom is sort of like afraid of technology, yeah. like many people she are. She loves it. But what's great is now my mom can be washing the dishes or working in the kitchen. Someone rings her doorbell and she can say, hey Google, show me the front door. And she can literally see who's at her front door and talk to that person without actually going and answering the door. 
There's, it's very, very easy to use. And one of our favorite functionalities, so I have four kids, and we've got all of our photos that we've taken since the beginning of time. So my oldest is turning 21 today. So we're seeing baby pictures of oh him kind of roll up uh, that we haven't seen in years. And so it's, it's a great way to kind of connect to your past. And again, you can do this and share with your, your family. So if you have photos of, uh, that, you, that you're, you're doing while you're away and you want to share with them, you can do this all through this device. Scott, do you come with the setup? Like, can, I, <laughs> can you come over? I, if, if needed, absolutely. But you don't need me because it's that easy. Okay. I'm serious. You will love it. We use ours multiple times every single day. Scott Burns, it's great to see you. And as a reminder, you can get this device with any of the plans we talked about today. If you'd like to learn more about those plans, you can visit the website Reliant.com or just pick up the phone, 866-222-7100. You'll be glad you did. And again, this little Google Nest Hub has uh, added so much convenience to our lives. Scott, thank you. Thank All you. about saving money as we get prepared for the hot season coming up. We'll be right back back. I mean, cue the cute baby music. Some babies love it, some hate it. Bath time is an important part of a baby's routine, and having the right supplies will not only make it more pleasant, but also safe as well. Nina Spears, co-founder and CEO of Baby Chick, is here with six baby bath essentials for your little one. Oh my gosh, what adorable video. I mean, babies are the cutest. They I really love my are. job. And I as know. Courtney just said, it really is true. Some babies love the bath, but yes. for others, bath time is a really stressful time for baby and for mom and dad. Yes, definitely. You just want your baby to get clean, do it quickly, but make it fun at the same time. So I'm hoping that with some of my favorite products, you can have successful bath time, but also safe with baby. And this is so great. And I love that you brought different displays and yes. starting with that bathtub, because as simple as it sounds, it's a necessity. Absolutely, absolutely. We were just talking about it. Rather than having your newborn baby in a tub, leaning over, hunching your back, aching and knees, having this, placing it in your double sink or wherever your kitchen sink, it's so much easier to be able to handle baby and bathe. Absolutely. And this one will grow with the baby? Yes. So this is a three-stage bathtub from Boone called Soak. I absolutely love it because it really does grow with your child. Some of the features that I really like is this incline that's padded, so nice and soft for baby. This drain actually changes color um, and lets you know if it's the right temperature oh, that's for great. baby, which is huge. And another great thing, I'm going to lift my adorable little one. Um, it grows with your baby like we were talking about. So it was just sitting in the newborn position, but you can then flip oh. this and and change it this way so as your baby gets longer and grows it oh. then is reclined a little bit more and then when your baby gets a little bit um, more head and neck control can sit up this way so I love this tub that it grows with your child zero to 18 months from Boone you know and they should be able to play now the struggle that I have with my kids at 12 and 8 is to actually get them to bathe <laughs> so enjoy this time it's a struggle yeah. every night it, it never does. ends it is I'm not sure if they'll <laughs> fit in this bathroom. Not that one, yeah. but you know what I mean. And just some little tips for parents out there when you're doing bath time in the tub. Make sure, you want to make sure that the water is warm. It's not too cold. It's not hot. So test it out either with your elbow or the inside of your arm and wrist. That's when you're, where you have more sensitive skin. So it needs to be between body temperature or 100 degrees. So again, not hot, not cold, but nice and warm. So test that. You want to make sure that the room that the tub is in is not too cold as mm. well. Well, baby will get um, too cold and then also dump your washcloth and cover it uh, cover your baby so then it's keeping oh, their chest yeah. and core warm yeah. so they enjoy the bath no one wants to be I mean the worst part of taking a shower is getting out getting of the out shower right. same thing with the baby so having that washcloth on them that's warm and consistently pouring some warm water on them will make them enjoy bath time a lot more look at this adorable little whale scoop I you have know. to where'd you get that <laughs> So pop. Cute. It's so cute. Oh my Love gosh. It. Well, let's talk about the things that we need to use in the tub during bath time. And again, starting with baby wash. Yes. So I always go to Earth Mama. They have the safest, cleanest, organic ingredients with their stuff. I really, really love them. You can find it at Target, Amazon, Whole Foods, or their website, EarthMamaOrganics.com. $10. So, so easy. I love this one. It's the sweet orange. It's just happy, 
It smells Love great. It. Absolutely. Very nice. And moving on to this protective cover, yes. this is something that can protect your child from getting their fingers stuck in the yes. faucet? So as your baby grows out of their bathtub, then they're going to be in A your bathtub. bathtub. Yes. And something that babies and toddlers at that point are curious about is where the water's coming from. Their fingers can get stuck in the faucet. It can also be too hot sometimes. So having a protector uh, faucet cover can really help with that. But I really love this one from Boone. Uh, this is called Flow. Is you open this, put some soap in here, and oh. it's a bubble bath dispenser. You just push this button down here. So sorry, y'all. Oh, cool. And it dispenses that. And I just love that. If you see the picture, that is going to be shown. You can then see how it's like a waterfall effect. Babies can put their head back and it bathes um, baby's hair. I, so I love that. that. I know. I know. <laughs> so the next thing about safety, though, is a drain cover. So people don't really think about this, but injuries can occur. Little fingers get stuck in the drain the when they're wondering. Holes. I know. And then also that stopper. Babies, if they're running around, jumping around, they can land, break a tailbone on that uh, drain cover. So having something soft like this star from Boone is super helpful. It also creates a suction, so no water is coming oh, that's uh, getting great. through it. And Love we that. also need a bathtub mat as well, and yes. this allows you to grow with your kids too. Yes, so I definitely, so this is the Griffle from Boone. I love that it's really large. Um, a lot of the bath mats are a lot smaller, so it covers more of the bottom of the bath. It also has holes and hanging um, so then that way it just allows all the water to get through yes. so less mildew and mold which is better for mom and baby love Absolutely. that you can hang it up to dry yes. let's talk about this hooded bath towel well, speaking when, of adorable yeah so you have to get baby out of the bath you want them to stay warm so I'm gonna show you a really cool trick so hooded towels you have to have washcloths so get the hood and put it at the bottom use the opposite corner and place it on your chest. Derek, if you can hand me my baby. Oh, sure. Be adorable careful, little babies. Oh, don't want to disturb him. He's sleeping <laughs> with his eyes open. Hi, baby. Place baby from the bath. You're now not getting wet. Pick this side up. Oh, I and see. And flip on the hood. And Brilliant. then there you go. You have your little baby all nice and dry. You're not getting wet. And baby's then not in the cold air too long and immediately on mom and dad. You Genius. always have the greatest tips, really. So awesome to connect with Nina. Visit the scene on Houston Life section of our website. And by the way, while you're at it, check your water temperature on the water heater at home True. because yes. there's no need for it to be at a scalding level. That's how a lot of injuries happen True. every single year. So True. lower Great that point. temperature on the water heater. We'll be right back. Thanks, Nina. Yeah. Hey, Sam. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, Courtney and I will do a little thrift shop throwdown. Of course, as always, we have a $25 budget, and there I am getting sidetracked already. Already. Stay in your lane. I'm Stay focused. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you back tomorrow. Don't forget all those promo codes. Check us out online.